A dream come true today for a young Flyers fan facing some big challenges. Ten-year-old Stephen Bradley needs a heart transplant, and twice money donated for the surgery has been stolen. As CBS 3's Robin McIntosh reports, one of Stephen's hockey heroes is returning the favor and cheering on his loyal fan. You got the royal treatment, man. I've never given out a personalized jersey. And Stephen Bradley deserves the royal treatment. After weeks of disappointments, the 10-year-old fourth grader is a fervent Flyers fan, but he also needs a heart transplant. So today, Flyers winger Todd Fedora came to Woodland Elementary School to cheer up Stephen Bradley. Sometimes things happen to kids that are less fortunate than others, and, you know, being a part of the Flyers organization, we have an opportunity to, you know, put a smile on some kids' faces. And today, Stephen did a lot of smiling with a new Jersey and a new friend. Great, it's my lucky day. Setting my bed day on Friday the 13th. Today was the good news part of the story, but it began with lots of bad news. Money collected for Stephen's heart transplant stolen from a convenience store in Norwood, not once, but twice, and police say, by the same man. Police recovered this surveillance tape where you can plainly see the jar with Stevens' donated money in it being taken, not just once, but twice. Norwood police have identified their suspect as 25-year-old Joseph Rodak of Woodland. He was captured late this afternoon. Stevens' friends and family grateful for the outpouring of support. It makes me feel great. I'm sure Stephen does. <laughs> He's really excited. I know a lot, of, a lot of people care about me, but I know one person that doesn't care about me, and that's the guy that took my money. So on this notoriously unlucky day, Friday the 13th had a happy ending for a little boy with big heart problems by showing him there are a lot of people in this world with big hearts, like 8-year-old J.J. Eisenlar, who never met Stephen before, but today gave him an autographed hockey stick. Woodland, Delaware County. Robin McIntosh, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. A Stephen's heart transplant will be very, very expensive. If you'd like to help, there's a link on our website for more information on how you can get involved. Oh, I'm sure people are calling right now and, and, and dialing that? in right now. And yeah. I, hopefully that guy will get caught. He's, there's, two, yeah. there's two shots of him on camera. There's an eyewitness, mm -hmm. so hopefully he'll get caught. I mean, you know, Todd Fedorik made the call. I mean, he's a very inspirational guy. He plays for the Flyers. And that was the fridge, they call him. I so got the, it. 